Welcome to CSC Guru. Now we will discuss an example to implement job sequencing problem with deadlines. So job sequencing problem is from the given n jobs, we need to consider the job that should be completed within their deadline and that should have maximum profit. So this is the definition for job sequencing problem. Already we have discussed one example to implement a job sequencing problem. This is the second example. Obtain the optimal solution for the job sequencing problem given the following jobs, its profit and their deadlines. So here they have given 5 jobs. So n value is 5 here. And its corresponding profit and deadlines are given. So if you are considering here, this is the given values. That is job number 1, profit is 20, deadline is 2. Job number 2, profit is 15, deadline is 2. Job number 3, profit is 10, deadline is 1. Job number 4, profit is 5, deadline is 3. And job number 5, profit is 1, deadline is 3. So this is the given values. So the first step is, we need to arrange the jobs in decreasing order of profit. Since our aim is to earn maximum profit, consider the job which earns the maximum profit first and give first preference to that job. Next, consider the next job which earns the next maximum profit and give the next preference to that job. Likewise, we need to arrange the jobs with decreasing order of profit. So, step 1. Arrange the jobs in decreasing order of profits. And if you are considering here, already the jobs are arranged in decreasing order of profit only. So, the given subset only we will consider here. So, job number 1 with the maximum profit 20. Job number 2, profit is 15. Job number 3, profit is 10. Job number 4, profit is 5. Job number 5, profit is 1. So, next step, we need to consider each job. And if this particular job has to be completed within the deadline means, add this job to the job subset. Likewise, we need to consider each job. Suppose, if you are considering a particular job and that should not be completed within the deadline means, neglect that particular job. So, this procedure we need to implement for all the jobs. So, now consider job number 1. Its profit is 20 and its deadline is 2. Assign this job to the job subset. So, select job number 1. Its profit is 20 and deadline is 2. So, now consider job number 1 and its deadline is 2. And consider the first job and add this job to the job subset. So, this job we can assign to the computer for execution. And profit if you are considering. The first job earns profit is 20. Next step, consider the second job. Its profit is 15 and its deadline is 2. Here, if you are considering each job to be assigned to the computer for execution for only one unit of time. So, if you are considering the both the jobs deadline are 2. So that we can assign this job for first unit of time. And the second job for second unit of time. Next step, consider job number 2. Its profit is 15 and deadline is 2. So, if you are considering here, the first job we can assign to the machine for first unit of time. And the second job we can assign to the machine for second unit of time. So that we can able to complete both the jobs which earns maximum profit. So, job number 1 we can assign to the machine for first unit of time. And job number 2 we can assign to the machine for second unit of time. So it is possible to complete both the jobs. So add this second job also to the job subset. And profit if we are considering. The first job profit is 20 and second job profit is 15. Totally we can able to earn 35. Next step consider the third job. And the third job if you are considering, this should be completed within the first unit of time itself. But first unit of time is not available since the first job we will assign during that time. So this third job we cannot able to assign to the computer within its deadline. So we have to neglect this third job. So this job is not selected since deadline is already over. So now only two jobs we have added to the job subset. 
and profit if we are considering it is 20 plus 15 only that is 35. Next step consider job number 4. Its deadline is 3 and if you are considering here in the first unit of time we can assign job number 1. In the second unit of time we can assign job number 2. So third unit of time is available. So we can consider this job. So select job number 4 and its profit is 5 deadline is 3. So first unit of time we can assign first job. So first job its deadline is 2 and second unit of time we can assign job number 2 and its deadline is 2. In third unit of time we can able to assign job number 4 and its deadline is 3. So if you are considering here in the job set we can add this job number 4. So 1, 2 and 4 we can add to the subset. And profit if you are considering the first job earns profit is 20, second job is 15 and the fourth job is 5. So totally we can able to earn 40. In the next step consider job number 5. Its deadline is 3. Already in the third unit of time job number 4 is assigned. So next if we are considering job number 5 its deadline is already over. So we cannot able to assign this job. So job number 3 also we have neglected since its deadline is already over and job number 5 also we have neglected. So the rest of the jobs are discarded because its deadlines are already over. So now we have completed this problem. So the result is optimal solution of job sequences job number 1, 2 and 4 and the total profit is 40. So this is the solution for this given job sequencing problem with deadline. Thank you for watching this video.